What's up guys, welcome back to QNAP Live Broadcast from our headquarters here in New Taipei. I'm Rezon and today here with us is our product manager Dan. Hello everybody. And uh, from Melanox today our guest is uh, the FA Jericho. Yes. Thank you for coming here and we are going to introduce you to a new product that we are going to launch soon. Yes. Right? And Jericho also is going to introduce us to the product uh, yes. furthermore. So let's go to the PPTs and see what is the topic actually for today which is re uh, the introduction of QXG25G 2SF uh, CX4, a yeah. network expansion card. Yeah, right? it's a PCI expansion card. Uh, you can see we have uh, this card name, we can know this is 25G and we have two port, SAP28 is for 25G. And we use the chip, the name is Connect 4 So the name we have CS4. Okay, that's uh, what it is. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so moving next on to the next slide, we broke it down into three subtopics. Yes. So first, you will introduce us the 25 gigabit Ethernet PCI Express expansion card. Yeah. Yeah, and then Melanox, uh, Jericho, yes. you will talk about the switch. Yes, correct. And uh, thirdly, we will see the QNAP NAS and uh, 25 gigabit Ethernet card. Yeah, in the third part, we will introduce you how to. Uh, use our NAS and uh, 25 g internet card and uh, the switch, how to combine it. How to combine it. Yeah, we can combine it. If you wait till the third part, you will see how to combine it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So for the first subtitle, we have uh, the over 10 gigabit Ethernet. Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah, so we want to continue. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Um, in this slide, uh, we are going to introduce you the chain of the HD and SSD. From this chart, you can see the blue one is uh, HDD market share from 2015, and the black one is the SSD market share. So you can see from this this photo, uh, the HDD is slowing going down, mm -hmm. and the SDD is uh, fastly going up. So in two, we expect in 2021, the SAT market share will go over uh, HDD. Oh, wow. uh, so that's why, because the performance of S SSD is going better and better. Okay. And also, the most important thing is the price is going to going down. So everyone, more and more people can use the SSD yeah. because the SSD the performance is good and the price is going down. So we have two examples uh, in the right. You can see there are Samsung uh, EVO and Samsung another one 970 EVO. You can see the performance below. Uh, yeah. The read is over 500 megabytes per second and write is also 500, uh, 500 megabytes per second. So the performance is very good. So that's why I will going to introduce you why we need to use 25 gig. Okay. okay. So, <coughs> so in this slide, um, uh, everybody know we QNAP always promote the 10 gigabit internet to your workstation, to your work environment. But there's a problem. Uh, if we, everybody use a 10 gigabit internet throughput, uh, going to a NAS or a server, mm -hmm. uh, which is, has 10 gigabit internet card as well, you can see the bottleneck is on the internet card. Yeah. Because the, in the left hand side, we have three PC, but uh, in the right hand side, we have only one 10 gigabit internet card. So the bottleneck will stuck on the network, yeah. networking. Okay. So as I said, the SAD performance is very good. Uh, if the bottleneck on the internet, you cannot fully use the uh, performance of SSD. Mm -hmm. So it's very pity. So especially we have s uh, so much functions for SAD usage, yeah. something like SAD cache and Q tier. So yeah, this is from our QTS. Yeah, it's from QTS. It's our um, uh, QNAP, our feature yeah. to help you to uh, fully use the SSD. So uh, that's why we need a 25 gig because we want to remove the bottleneck. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Okay. So in <coughs> in this slide, we have uh, internal research from many nodes. We can see um, the market share. Uh, the market share of the uh, over 25 gig speed okay. market is from 22% to 50, uh, 55%. So I will let Jericho to introduce more about this photo. Okay. So 
uh, in the recent trade that we can see, uh, the total market share upon the networking is uh, doing this transaction. It's moving from 10 gig, 40 gig, and migrate to 25 gig above. And it's due to the, the data that's flowed around the e uh, internet or the ethernet network that you can run much bigger file in machine learning. You can have big data to analyze. You can run a lot of uh, fancy application on the network. But the basic fundamental thing is that you need the faster ne network. So that's why the migrate, we can see that. Uh, near uh, In the fu future, like uh, within three years, we can see a really big jump uh, from 25 git and above. So the mainly is based on the, the third party uh, market share uh, market research company we, we follow that we can see first thing that there's a, a like um, 30, 30, 33 percent increase upon mm -hmm. the following years. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. a big difference actually. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So the better networking is also we uh, use on some uh, very hot topics. Uh, something like cloud application, big data, machine learning, and uh, AI. Yeah. So in the future world, the, 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 the best bandwidth of the internet is going to be more and more important. Yeah, okay. definitely. Especially for the new, you should just mention. Yeah. Okay, <coughs> so uh, we, are, we have two cards. Uh, the first one is 10 gig, and the second one is to our topic, 25 gig. Yeah. So for 10 gig, we have a QXG 10, uh, 10G2SF CS4. It's dual port SAP Plus connectors. It's a, a half head card and uh, supports 10 gb internet transmission, the speed. Okay. Okay, the second one is a 25 gig 2 SF CX4. It's also a dual port 25 gig SP28 uh, half head card and supports 25 gig and 10 gigabit internet throughput. Okay, and the so dimensions are here. Actually, it's not yeah, it's a standard PCI slot, PCI card, so you can install this card on any PCI slot. Mm -hmm. And the chip is Melos Connect 4 LOS uh, networking chip. Uh, networking chip. Uh, suppose I search Rocky is of raw acceleration okay. function. Okay, <coughs> so here is uh, some details for you. Uh, dual pole, dual pole connectors, okay. and uh, the low profile bracket is is uh, is installed, and we will also have the forehead and flat bracket bundled, and the PCI interface is. The generation 3 by 8, so provides 64 gigabits per second bandwidth. And also, uh, you can see we have two kind of cable. Uh, if you are using a 25 gig, you need you need to use SP28. If a 10 gig, you need to use SP Plus cable. Okay. Okay. So <coughs> as we said, the 25 gig is um, designed for. Uh, some data intensity um, or data center business users. Mm -hmm. So we recommend you to use our high-end NAS from QNAP. So we have three uh, very new models. They are 83 SU and 77 SU um, we use AMD and 72 SU we use Intel Core. Okay. So that's our high-end recommend NAS. So we recommend users to install this card on such high-end models. Okay to fully re experience the high speed. And also there's another thing because um, uh, we recommend users to install this card on the gener generation three by eight PCI slot. For example, on the 12 on the 1283 XU you need to install this card on slot two. Because this slot is generation three by eight and from the CPU. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you want to know more details, you can go to uh, the product page to know more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so here are some QNAP, uh, supporting QNAP, mo QNAP models. Uh, for Tengi, we, we can um, relate users to install this card on PCI uh, models with generation 2 by 2. But we recommend you to use generation 3 by 4. Okay. For 25 gig, we uh, we suggest users to use the PCI generation by four, but 
if you want to get the performance, you can use generation three by eight. eight. Or, yeah. With the rack mounts, we just mentioned earlier. Yeah, and uh, supporting always um, if you are using the QNAP NAS, mm -hmm. uh, QT is 4.6, we start to support this card. Okay. If, uh, if you have your own server or your own PC, uh, you need to download the driver for Windows or Linux systems. Okay. So more details, please check our compatibility list. Okay. okay. This time our compatibility list. Yeah, okay. they, are well, they will in the compatibility list. Yeah. Okay, so um, this is uh, another important function. Uh, the name is uh, ISER. Uh, ISER is um, uh, for if we would talk about simple, uh, it's something like it just um, how about Jericho? <laughs> okay. 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 ISER basically just come from iSCSI. Okay. What iSCSI is doing is that they can load uh, the remote device locally just look like it is in installed locally on your machine. Mm -hmm. So what you can see that because due to you have to use the in, uh, internet or the network to load the device. So what is what you can benefit from ISER is you can get the RDMA random memory access okay. between uh, the local device and the remote device. So you can increase your efficiency and lower your latency and you have more resource for your your CPU to to run other applications. So you can bypass a lot of uh, like a, a temporary memory socket. Uh, so the CPU you can just skip a lot of uh, steps. And our network device, our NIC will do the rest data movement between the local and the remote machine for you. So your CPU just involved in the first uh, pass while establishing the data data flow. And the rest of the flow and the rest of the work, uh, our Nick would do it for you, for you. So you don't have to worry about like uh, pulling a lot of CPU resource and mm -hmm. have a lot of interrupt to uh, to lower your performance. So you you can freely don't worry about any performance regarding any data movement. Okay, uh, if we want to know more about the application about twenty five D and ISER, we will have a broadcast show mm -hmm. is coming soon. So please stay, for, stay with us. Yeah, watch our live broadcast shows and you will learn more. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, we are going to um, do a live demo about the performance. We use one PC and to uh, transfer the data to 83XU. Okay. And you can see our PC spec is here, the NAS spec is here. Okay. And we use Arja. So please change the screen to another okay. PC. Okay, uh, this is our environment, and we have re remote connected to the to the machine. Okay, so let's start to test. So we're doing the test now. Yeah, we are doing the test now. So you can see the right performance is about uh, over one hundred uh, one thousand and five hundred yeah. megabytes per second, and for read the performance is amazing. It's going to uh two thousand and four hundred, okay. and it's. Uh, I need to explain why the write performance is a little uh, worse than read okay. because of the, the hardware spec because the, uh, maybe depends on the PC spec mm -hmm. or the SAD spec okay, okay so that's the uh, important thing because we don't want to use it to uh, use some low-end PC yeah. and want to have a very good performance it's not reasonable yeah that makes sense yeah, so please uh, go back to the uh, slides. All right. So let's see what we have next. Okay. <coughs> so people might be wondering how to uh, fully use the 25, 25 gig, gigabit internet. Uh, because if you, uh, every, I mean, uh, in, com in common situation, people want to use file, drag and drop. Yeah. Yeah, to copy and paste. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we are using now. So we have a test here. You c we use three PC, okay. and we connect to our. Uh, we install a NIC card on inside, yeah. and we uh, transfer the data. We copy and paste the data to the NAS. So you can see from this photo, uh, the first one we have a. Uh, uh, they are uh, almost one gigabyte per second yeah. near. 
So you can see in the NAS, we can detect the speed is over, is near three gigabytes per second. So this is for copy and paste. But this is an important thing because um, the high speed depends on many factors, yeah. something like um, PC spec, CPU spec, and CPU cap rate. And also your SSD, SSD um, performance is very important. So here are some recommendations for you. If you want to have this performance, um, there you need to um, uh, 86 architecture, i5 or i7 or same level or above mm -hmm. uh, CPU on your PC. And minimum basic clock rate is about 3.3 gigahertz. And you also, we suggest you use NVMe SSD. Okay, NVMe SSD. Yeah. And for, for your server, uh, you can choose, of course, you can choose our own QNAP, um, QNAP high-end server, yeah. uh, Intel 72 above or AMD 77 above. And the, mo the most important thing is do not use the hard disk because the hard disk performance is, very, is not really good. Okay. So we recommend you to use the enterprise SATA SSD or maybe higher level is fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is very important to to take uh, to know this information. Yeah, because the uh, tanky, tanky, uh, the high speed transfer is uh, depends on many, many factors. factors. You yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially the how spec. Yeah. Uh, the most important is the clock rate actually. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's not a number of cores. The yeah. the clock the basic clock rate does matter. Mm, okay. See. Okay, so uh, Draco, we are going to introduce the, 20, the 25 gig and 100 gig uh, management switch. Mm -hmm. The name is SN2010 or? Yeah, 2010. 2010. 2010. Yeah. Okay, this is a, this is a very, high, uh, very high end and high good performance switch. If uh, you remember, we, QNAP, we have a QSW switch. Yeah. It's only 10 gb internet and no management. So Draco will introduce this one is for business use okay. and very high performance. Okay, so let's uh, Draco. Draco. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Let's begin. Okay. So in this slide, uh, we can see the the basic physical uh, IOs and our uh, basic details upon the switch, and our switch is half width. So the benefits you can get is that you can use a 1U height and you can have fully redundant you, if you play two of our 2010 SN2010 switch and so you, you don't have to waste another slot and waste more port if you, you use like uh, 20, uh, 48 ports of the switch but you, you need to at least two to do the HA so this is what it is amazing and another thing is that you can get a lot of port count in this kind of compact design. We provide 18 SFP and SFP28 uh, ports, and we have four QSFP28 ports that can support up to 100 gig. And this is very, uh, very flexible for any users that, if you, you only need two 100 gig or 40 gig port uplink, and you have uh, two port left. And so you, in this way, you can configure each 100 gig port the split, split into four 25 gig so that's in this way you can have more four count you ha can have more device you can connect it to and uh, so in total we can split up to uh, 34 25 gig if you want to use full four uh, 100 port, 100 gig port into 25 gig yeah. and we also provide a uh, uh, bidirectional uh, non-blocking bandwidth up to uh, 100 uh, 1.7 terabit per second that is uh, very uh, uh, outstanding performance that uh, in the market because I, I have known that the switch upon the market in the market that they have certain limitation upon the non-blocking bandwidth so we pr provide full non-blocking bandwidth upon the switch and we also provide a redundant power so in this compact design you can have two power supply in the back and you can have uh, fully redundant you don't have to w uh, worry about the uptime or the downtime and the per performance we guarantee that you can have zero packet loss so we have a lot of features that based on the ASIC we designed for the switch 
uh, our ASIC is also called a spectrum. Mm -hmm. So what we designed is that we guarantee the performance of the uh, each port or each service is zero packet loss. And we guarantee that you can get the very, very low latency from port to port. So uh, currently we, we, we have measured that the port to port latency is around uh, 300 milliseconds. That is lowest in the market, uh, many times above. Uh, many not lower than other competitions, so this is what we are shining and we're outstanding the, the switch. And for the network OS, we uh, we can have Onyx and Cumulus. And someone, if they, there is any other like uh, network OS in the future you want to install based on Oni, you can also install it in the future. It's pretty easy to transfer back and forth between each OS be, uh, based on your favor. So. This is uh, some details upon the switch. Okay. And now, in this slide, I, I want to introduce that uh, maybe in the consumers uh, or the enterprise market that we're not very common to see, but our product is uh, providing NIX cables, switch, and uh, routers and the gateway in the market. So we, we provide an end-to-end -end solution for customers to get the best uh, performance or the, the maximum bandwidth you can get in your each deployment. So in the slide we can see we can uh, we have ConnectX for the adapter and LinkX is basically for our uh, cables Cable. mm -hmm. and so we have a DAC a corporate deck and we can also provide a fiber and a transceiver. In the middle we have provide uh, switches for infinite band and Ethernet. Uh, for infinite band, we can call it quantum, and for Ethernet, we call it spectrum. Okay. Now I want to go uh, a little bit deeper into to the storage. What is different from the regular like uh, storage you can see or currently uh, deploy in the environment? Uh, usually the storage we you have deployed is based on the uh, fabric channel is for the SAN network and in this deployment it, it costs very much so it is not very affordable for uh, a lot of people because they need a lot of budget it is not compatible with Ethernet or any other protocol so you have you, you need to have certain NIC certain cable and certain switch and locally it is not as by any other uh, devices if you install an uh, Ethernet or you can So only 20% uh, of the customer, they can have the ability to deploy the, uh, the fabric channel, uh, sorry, cluster. But for the rest of the, the user, they're uh, more like using Ethernet because it's more affordable and more common to use. So you can, your PC is using Ethernet, so you are, uh, home is based on Ethernet to deploy, so you can get more easily and more uh, uh, convenient in your in your in your hand. And the data uh, transferring the Ethernet, they, they don't limit to like a block or any any other uh, limitation. You can have your files, uh, you can have any like backup, you can have clouds, and you have application VMs running on that. So it is more user-friendly to deploy. So that's why the 80% is now becoming the mainstream because Ethernet is very common in the future and the speed and the, perform the performance is uh, going up and going high. So that's why we, we provide a certain uh, technology that can fulfill any, any requirement in the future. So in the changes we can see that from the old fabric channel uh, based on the vendors development upon each uh, component or each product uh, the speed of the network is not really going fast enough uh, in contrary you can see that the speed of the ethernet is going really fast like until last year in the end of last year 200 gig is already available in the market and so 400 gig will be uh, available in within two years. Okay. So the speed is going really fast just due, due to the following that the social media content, uh, the daily photograph, the mes uh, message, or the video you take, 
uh, is going offline. So there's a lot of data flows going in the network. Yeah. So you have to make sure that your bandwidth is, is enough to support the, this kind of data flow go between each server. Okay. And the other thing is that the hybrid configuration is pretty, uh, uh, become more and more uh, easy to see in the past few years. A lot of uh, vendors have developed uh, a very compact chassis that can you can get a computer storage node in the network within uh, a chassis. And so in this way, the SAN network cannot really uh, implement into such scenario because your storage node and your compute node, basically your storage is based on the old fabric, uh, fabric, rapid, uh, fabric channel but your computer is running the Ethernet. So in, in the future, Ethernet will overcome the fabric channel because it's more easy to connect and combine all three together. And for the cloud, that uh, it's more easy to de uh, deploy in the Ethernet than the fabric channel because you can have more flexible topology and have more uh, components to choose or the uh, product to choose. And for the big data, they also require a uh, very high bandwidth to consume the data. So that, that's why the, the storage uh, world is now changing into the ethernet. And we can also see it in, in the recent uh, market that a lot of customer and a lot of vendor that are already choosing the ethernet fabric for the storage than the fabric channel. So for the ethernet fabric, uh, storage fabric that you can get first you don't have to limit what is uh, transferring into the fabric so you can have blocks, you can have files, you can have objects and the other thing is that the, the bandwidth is going really fast and the performance is really outstanding you can have very low latency and zero packet loss is uh, fabric channel guarantee and you can also get very simple management that you can you don't have to like uh, use a certain method to maintain the network because for the ethernet there we can provide a very very user-friendly tool it's called Neo where I will go into it and uh, a few other slides so in this way you can get more of what you want and for the MVMV over fabric that is what uh, ethernet is going really uh, hot recently because you can have your MVMV device uh, running in the network as you can build it like you can access locally in the very outstanding performance and you can uh, see the very difference between the old uh, storage fabric from migrating to the Ethernet storage fabric and the, the slide I'm showing now is the, the left side is uh, traditional fabric channel uh, storage deployment. You will need a, a modular switch or a, a very complex and very expensive uh, rack. And in this way, you can only scale up. You can only buy more and uh, like a more expensive, more capability uh, capacity uh, chassis or rack to fulfill your need. But in the recent data center topology that is already migrated to uh, leave and spine, what is uh, more uh, convenient for user to like uh, expand in the future? So you, you don't have to buy a lot of expensive equipments for like uh, you predict what you might use in the next three to five years. So you can just simply see what you need now and you buy the leaf and spy switch. But if you need more, you just buy another another switch and, and install in the other nodes or the servers you need. So it is very simple to expand and you don't have to worry about uh, budget or the, the cost it will, it will make. So this is why uh, the, the Ethernet fabric is uh, really convenient for user. Okay. And this slide is showing that 
recently the 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 cluster is moving uh, from 10 or 40 to uh, 25 and 100 and we can simplify the deployment of the cluster the topology of the cluster is make it more easy to access and make it uh, less expensive you can barely like uh, spend uh, half um, half price to fulfill what you need and the speed is also uh, guaranteed that future proof so the future network is based on a 25 gig and 100 gig in the uh, following years so in this way you can have more flexible deployment and changes in the future that you can easily deploy and the slide I'm showing now is what is so significantly different uh, our switch from the other vendor uh, our switch uh, you can see the left up uh, graph mm -hmm. our switch provide the fairness and QoS uh, equally each every port so every port you when, you when the traffic come in we guarantee that every port you can get equally uh, resource and uh, but buffers so you don't have to worry about a certain port you 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 might install for certain uh, application or certain usage you don't worry you don't need to worry about that we you can just plug and play into any port out on another switch so this is why it's different and then the middle you can see that we guarantee the lowest latency upon the market in our switch, we guarantee that you can get the lowest latency upon for each packet size. And then this is really different from the market that uh, the, the latency usually going up when the packet size is going up. So you can see that the, we're going flat line upon each every packet size. And the right hand, you can see we can provide more uh, robust congestion management. So the microbus, uh, microbus, come inside the port. We can provide uh, much capability to absorb it, so you don't uh, have to worry about the congestion or the uh, out of buffer or something like that. That we can absorb uh, at least like uh, eight times than other other vendors in the packet size. And the graph. Uh, in the lower, you can yeah. see that we can, yeah, we can, can provide. Move, sure. yeah. move to middle, okay. Yeah, move this to the middle, <laughs> just to show it. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, we, we also support like, many to one or many to many uh, traffic flow that we guarantee that you can get what you need and the best performance you can get. And uh, in the lower right side, you can see that uh, because a, a network you don't just connect to one switch yeah. and the more switch you connect it to the more latency you are added on to your performance yeah. but our NIC and our switch will provide the lowest latency so when you get more hot upon the transfer flow you can see the difference that we we are much much better than other competition competition okay. and it's more robust so you can see that uh, at three three hubs that our spectrum is less than uh, my one microsecond mm -hmm. latency added, but the other switch might you might get at least larger than ten microsecond. So this is the very different from the from the other vendor you can get it from the market. Okay, so bring this back down here. Yes, all right. Okay, now nowadays that the in the state the network most of the uh, most of the, the, the maintainers that like, they want fully visual uh, visibility in the network okay. so it, you can use um, SMP protocol or our NIC provide uh, our switch provide the uh, native uh, telemetry okay. the what's the difference is that you do you if you use SMP, you have to push and pull from the packet you get and calculate and divide it by the period you can you, you want to uh, to graph the picture on the left. So the accuracy is uh, not that 
good because it's not really uh, uh, very go going to very uh, high resolution upon the timeline. But our switch, we could provide um, the telemetry and the hardware ASIC itself. And we can uh, monitor the, the traffic flow uh, in nanosecond. So we can provide more accurate and more precise uh, behaviors or what is going on in the network for the maintainers want to develop it and uh, go away. So this is the difference. So you can see on, on our side that the, the line is really bumpy because we, we provide a narrow second uh, accuracy. Mm -hmm. That's uh, our uh, telemetry feature. And this one I want to show uh, the software that we provide for the customer. We provide the software called Neo, this uh, orchestration software like you monitor and mon manage uh, your network. It is pretty simple. You just uh, run Neo on one machine or one VM and open it up. You can get this kind uh, the, the GUI you can see on the screen. This is what we provide. We provide a method to let you very easily monitor and see what is going on in the cluster in the network. You can, our NEO will draw you a topology of your network that currently the NEO is running. And you can also monitor the, the data and monitor a lot of things that's going on in the network. And you can also see what is installed in the server and you can, if there's our uh, NIC or uh, our cable, you can also see the details, what is the NIC you're using and what is the firmware and what's the NIC or what's the EPRON data within the transceiver or the, the cables. And you can also see what is the uh, OS version that you're running on the switch. And when you go, want to go to like um, upgrade it, you can very easily do it in the NEO GUI that you can just uh, click and apply and everything will go smooth and you don't have to worry about anything. Okay. <coughs> so NEO is your management tool, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. because in the, uh, in the past years, if you want to use a management switch, yeah. we need to key in the command line and it's really difficult and uh, not easy to understand. Yeah. So if we are using the NEO, you can see there are many, uh, many photos and many uh, icons. So you can just um, click some icons and then you can manage your switch. Right. So I think it's very convenient yes. than before. Yes, yes. Yeah. it's very user friendly. You don't have to worry about what command line you want to insert and look it for the book or look it online to yeah, see so if it's Every right. time I forget a command line, not every time I forget a command, and yeah. sometimes I think it, uh, it's not easy to for new users. But if we have the Neo, we can easy to manage the switch. So yeah. this will be also easy for new users, like yeah, for first-time yeah. users yes. also. Yeah, yes. uh, although, this, although this, um, this switch is designed for business, but I think this one is good for uh, not new users, but also the IT users. Yes, yeah. so you, there's, because I, I, we, we know a lot of people that are afraid of uh, using the command line because it is a word, a digit on the screen, and you don't know what is going on and what is really happening if you do it right or yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you uh, just missing something that the network is feeling right or wrong. You don't you don't know. But in Neo, that we do it for you. Like when you just see uh, what is existing happening on in, in, on the network. So okay. you can see traffic. You can see the flow. You can see. Uh, which time the, the bandwidth is consuming a lot and which time it's not. So you can just monitor very easily and apply a, a lot of uh, functions very easily. And one more thing is that the, 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 like the VM migration, the, you, we can do it in Neo. This, like, uh, if you run in the VM on some certain node and when you want to migrate in, on to another node but connect to the another switch or another port, or another server. What you can do is that you just uh, drop, uh, click and drop the, the VM you wish to uh, move on to 
and the configuration between that we will do it for you so you don't have to reset up uh, configure it again and uh, also in the switch uh, we will tell the switch that it is going to move migrate to another port so we can pass on the configuration uh, to another one so it's very easy for you to, to, to use it's very convenient yes yeah, very convenient it saves a lot of time you don't need to reset every setting and do the configuration again again Yes. So the Neo will do it for you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So in this slide, it is uh, a, a glimpse of what Neo looks like. That and, uh, in the graph, we can we show that two machines connected together. So you can see the the the, the NIC firmware and a lot of information of the cables, mm -hmm. and we have a lot of tabs and a lot of pages for user to go into deeper if you want to see what is happening in the network, so we uh, will continue to monitor for every user. Okay. So, um, with Neo in our uh, Ethernet storage fabric switch, the SN 2010 you can have zero touch network provisioning, and more user friendly, you can enhance your like network security, and you can get a lot of better performance and low, lowest latency upon the market. This is very, uh, very good for storage cluster or storage use. Okay, so, <coughs> so thanks for Jericho to give us so detailed information about the switch and the management tool, NEO. Okay, so we are comes to the third part, um, how to use the 25 key card with our NAS and the switch. Okay, so in this page, I would like to mention again, uh, why do we need to move to 25 key? Because we, we QNAP, we have promoted the 10 key for, for yeah. years. So when everybody uses the 10 key internet, the workflow is something like, uh, something like here. Uh, you have a 10 key internet laptop, or you have an 10 key internet PC, and you have a 10 key internet NAS. But all, uh, all your data flow will be limited are uh, under the 10 gigabit internet speed. So we have, uh, we have said in the previous slides, the 10 gigabit internet is not enough in the future world. Yeah. As Jericho said, we need more uh, better or bigger bandwidth for our future uh, AI, cloud, cloud applications, yeah. and big data. So 10 gigabit internet is not enough for future. Okay. okay. So in this one, um, uh, this is our work workflow. You use the SN to a 2010 switch, and you can connect to um, many other PC, the like media workstation or PC or virtual machine. And also, you can connect to a NAT, uh, our high-end NAS or the wide bus server. And also, you can reuse your QNAP 40 gigabit Ethernet card. Uh, this card is also from Minanos uh, Connect S3. So, if you have all the uh, all the setting with the 25 key, the speed can go to 25 key very dirty. Yeah. Okay. So we QNAP, we own. Uh, we also support uh, many related ac accessories. Uh, we have two cards. We have the cable for 10 key for 25 key. Also, we have the 10 key uh, SR receiver. It's also from Melanos. I can see the logo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have 45 key, uh, even the 45 key is going down, but you still can use the, the high speed. And also we have a 45 key uh, DAC cable here. Is this one from Menonos? I'm sure. 40 uh, key. Uh, for you, I believe so, yes. Okay. Maybe, uh. <laughs> okay. So this here, here is, um, is, a, is a kit for you, it's upgrade kit for you. It's 25 key internet upgrade kit for you so um, you can buy uh, consider our QNAP high end NAS or you have you have had a white bus server then you only need to buy a 25 key and uh, the cable and uh, the switch mm -hmm. then you can uh, put uh, your equipment to 25 key environment very quick okay, okay. Oh. So this is the combination of the QNAP high end NAS yeah. and the Melanox SN 2010 uh, switch with 25 key yeah, it's for a uh, Melanox SN 2010 switch. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to um, 
you are going to have um, a switch, uh, we will work with mineral nodes to have something, a switch like this. Okay. okay. Yeah, in the future. And this is, but this is the upgrade kit. You just combine all these three things and you'll have the best performance. Uh, yes, that's right. Okay, so that's our uh, introduction of the 25 gig here today. Yeah. So if you want to know more details, please uh, check our product page. Yeah. And I need to mention again, um, the high speed trans transmission, it depends on many hardware factors. Yeah. So please, I make sure your hardware spec is uh, good to meet the high speed transmission. Okay. 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 Uh, no matter the PC, no matter the server, no matter the SSD, even the, the rate uh, will in fact impact so, the performance. So yeah, we have to take into consideration many different factors. Yes, yes, yes that's right. Okay. So we will have many um, study cases to introduce, to teach users how to, uh, how to have the, the, most, the fattest performance yeah. okay, to in the future. This yeah, story. that's right. Okay, so let's go back to the live. And uh, this was it for today. And right. thank you for watching everyone who watched and stayed with us for all this time. I want to thank our product manager, Dan, and Mel uh, from Melanox the FAE, Jericho, coming yeah. all the way yeah. here yeah. and be with us to explain us into details about the switch. And uh, Dan also explained up about the part into the details and the combination about it. So for this video and more videos like this, please check our website live.qnap.com. And I'll see you next time on QNAP Live Broadcast. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, okay.